Okay, this is my test setup, kind of my garage lab where we goof around, play around. So I wanted to show how I set up kind of my man in the middle attack using a throwing star network tap. One of these little bad boys right here. You can get those for like 15 bucks from a website. Probably like one you see right there. Uh, quick overview of the equipment. So this is just the internet coming into the lab here. Goes into the wiretap. Goes into the router. Then we have this machine sniffing from here. Uh, this computer here is connected to the router. This is a NHP DC 7700 running OS X 9.5. Well, so a little Hackintosh action here. Another little HP DC 7900 running Kali. That's the machine that's in the middle. And then over here we've got a, a Windblow 7 machine by Micro Squish. So that's the setup and an iPhone 6 Plus. It's gone wireless, so we'll be able to sniff things that are wireless, connected to the router, and wired. So how we do that is we go to our, our Kali, and what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll start some sniffing. So what I'll start first is we'll get Wireshark going. And we're going to start that here. So right now it's sniffing what's going on in here. And then for fun, we'll uh, get DriftNet running so we can see what's happening across the net. And to do that, we're going to need to run EnterCap. I'll use the GUI version. We're going to sniff to bridged. It's going to be ETH0. So it's OK. So it's doing its thing. And we need to run that so then we can run DriftNet. And DriftNet is what we're going to use to see pictures from websites that are happening on these machines. We'll show you how that goes. So we type DriftNet. I'm doing it with one hand. Dash I. Uh, ETH0. And we'll make this window bigger. So now we have DriftNet running and if we go over here, any images that are coming over in clear text will show up in DriftNet. So you go over here. Cars. Type that in. And you see here pictures start showing up in DriftNet because those pictures are not going through a site running SSL, right? They're just in clear. And DriftNet allows you to do that. So if I go over here, hey, there's the, there's the tap right there. You can go to this website. You can get one that's already pre-made. It's 40 bucks. You can get the kit like I got. You got to solder that kit together. But you can go here and buy it, and it shows up over there. So pretty much everything you do on these devices is going to show up in DriftNet. We can also sniff it here. So if I was to go on this machine and launch an application that required me to type in a username and password in clear text, we'd have to search for it, but we could find it there in Wireshark. And there's plenty of videos on how to do that in Wireshark. So if we go on our iPhone here, we can also see that anything that the iPhone is connecting to will show up. It's here too. So if we go to websites there, I'm just going to some bogus websites here. Let's go to something else that works.
Well, that's not really working, but that's okay. I was going to show you some of the stuff that But anyway, you get the idea. So no matter what we do here, you type in something here, uh, something with a lot of pictures. Let me go to images. You'll see those things happening. So anyway, that's how you can set that up. Quick demonstration, do what you want. A uh, good way to learn, good way to figure this stuff out. So if you have questions, you can post them. I don't know if I'll be able to answer them, but maybe someone else will. Late.